been. This is episode 23. A hairy conundrum. I am not joining chaos, you ass. Oh. Clap for everyone. Golf clap. Golf clap. Golf clap. Because no one should join chaos. It's literally the worst option. Especially... Well, actually, I shouldn't say especially because they're all really bad. Well, no, I never said anything about that. Sure. I've spent over 10,000 years of my life in his service. Indeed. Perhaps it is time to take orders from someone else? Not chaos. No, no, not specifically, but... Specifically, really? I know someone who might... Oh, fit boy, the exactly. bill, shall we say. What do you mean? Oh. I'll humor you. Who do you speak of? Oh, only the second most powerful kind of sort of human in the galaxy. Me, of course! Second most powerful. Oh, is brother. Yeah. He's, he's like probably the 50th in all honesty. <laughs> But I don't let his ego know There's... that. No, I will. His ego needs to be shattered. <laughs> I'm sorry, but he's he's really, really annoying when it comes to that ego of his. Yes, yes he is. Especially when he preside over a court case and decide to start doing a poetry slam in the middle of the court case because he thought he was so above all of it. Uh... Look at how well that ended for him in the librarians. You're just doing this to spite him. I He's am right. Not. <laughs> sure, he certainly has been incredibly aggressive, egotistical, and foul smelling, throwing in. Oh, I was uh, pot calling the kettle black here. Insults at me at every turn, only to give me some half assed apology later on. Pot calling the kettle black! But that is not the reason I'm asking you to serve me instead. What is your reason, then? To be uh... quite honest, Father is in no state to run the Imperium. He's throwing foolish orders left and right without I concern mean... for consequences. His reckless behavior will bring mankind to extinction rather than salvation. I mean, I, take your word I mean, Fable's fine with what he did. He got rid of the in most of the Inquisition, or at least the crazier ones. Yeah, which is probably for yeah. the best. So far, all of his orders have been perfectly logical in their unique mm. little ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Really? I mean, he wouldn't have been here. Truly, is the case. How come you haven't deactivated Gilliman's life support yet? Oh that yeah. Is one of his highest demands, is it not? <laughs> Deactivate Gilliman's life support. <laughs> Could it possibly be because you doubt his judgment? I don't yep. see how. That Please oh, wow. do not try to defend yeah. him. I need you to realize that the more orders he sends out, the further the Imperium will fall. I mean, only we can I only them. care that the Grey Knights are gone, which I'm pretty sure not all of them are gone, so... I can tell you, but only if you accept my offer. <sighs> you know, it is no mistake that you were elected as Captain General. Oh, now you're trying you to butter him up. Subject, a capable leader, and a trustworthy comrade. Um, you have broken through to a being as despondent and audacious Okay, now it sounds like you're, you're coming on to him. I appreciate you, but the maddening mm. agony of a million there, lashes... I'm not wrong. ...the turmoil that is his existence has warped his mind beyond proper function. Yes, he may have appreciated you, but you... You deserve better. Uh, uh -huh. You deserve to serve me. Or rather, you deserve oh my God. companionship. Does anyone else feel like this is side. him coming on to him? Yeah. It definitely gives you that. Yeah. Yeah. The weeping wounds of mankind before it succumbs to negligence. Yes, we shall come as angelic sages, saving the Imperium from its demise. And before this is over, if Father snaps out of his incessant lunacy, perhaps if he comes back to us in mortal form once more, oh, not only will he be thanking us, oh my God, he will be. Bowing before us. Oh my god, you just want to be smug around him. That's why you're doing all this. I will help you, Magnus. You are more intelligent than you have ever been given credit for. This will certainly knock down Father's pride a few See, months. there it is. I there it is. Make the Imperium great again? Yes, yes. There it is. Oh god. Oh, 
before we can begin, we need to sign a contract. A contract? Uh, yes, what? indeed. Oh. Don't worry, it's not like you have to sign it with your blood or anything like that. All I require well, you might. is your full name. Are you really sure about that? Oh, oh yes, yes, no, I no, 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 no. What is it, Fable? No, no. Names have power in 40k, especially demon true names. I know what Magnus is doing. He's trying to bind him. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, that's Is not true. Sure. Yes, tell me your full name. Well, alright then. Here, Here it goes. goes. Uh, <laughs> sunshine, Ray and Corn Stop! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> what the oh. fuck? He was saying his full name to him. Goldilocks Sunshine Corn Cop. <laughs> yeah, it's the weirdest full name ever. I told you to tell me your name, not a bunch of derogatory <laughs> sobriquets. You told me to tell you my full name, and so I am. I presume you forgot the fact that us custodians own names as recognition for mighty deeds. I forgot about that, actually. <laughs> oh my god. Or perhaps you just assumed I'd lived the uneventful life of an armored housemaid. <laughs> well, uh, nevertheless, I'm barely halfway through, so if you want me done today, you should probably allow me to continue. Oh uh, my god. Actually, let's do it like this instead. What are you called mostly around here? Um... Kitten! All right, we'll that. Contract signed. I don't think that's how that works. Uh, I see. So what now? Now, dear companion, okay. you are going on your first mission. And what is this mission, Magnus? <laughs> we are the gods of the new world order. We are the soldiers, the legions of light. We are the center, the death of the sun. Fire and flame, we are one. I think we're going back to the throne room, Fable. Oh no. Prince Magnus coming back with my precious starlight boy. But <laughs> they have been gone for several months now. It has only been a period, spending a few hours since they left. If you were stuck on a spirit leeching murder thrown every second of all time, you would not be so fucking cocky and take time for granted like that. I am not male domestic fowl with a Y. I am Rogel. I love Rogel. Were you <laughs> I know you do, Fable. I think Rogel Dor in this series is slowly but surely becoming Fable's favorite Primark. Primark. Always this teeth shattering. Yes. Crushes, or did you suffer some form of brain damage from being in that century oh, well. on suit for thousands of years? Yes. Uh. Scratching your head in this suit is a dangerous task. <laughs> Normally I just use Storm's teeth, but I lost it. Oh my god. It does make perfect sense, seeing as you are behaving like the constipated fusion of an oblivious Sagrin and a snappy house. <laughs> oh, god father. damn. Are you familiar with the expression, you are what you eat? The fuck? Seeing as you are behaving mm. like an ever-growing pile of screaming, psychic children. <laughs> god damn. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I did not see that coming. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Wow, Rogel. <laughs> wait to bring down the fucking hammer. I do not own a hammer. Oh, oh wait. No. There it is. Magnus, <laughs> Yellow Jack, anyone except Trogel. Please come and, and see me from this manner of a conversation. Yes, he does. He takes everything literally. I, no, 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 no. Can I anyone just say, I this? feel like the Emperor was kind of proud of Rogel for that one. <laughs> Even though he won't admit it. Just like, hey, oh. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. For those who don't know, I do have water over here. Strip first. I am oh. not a stripper, so I can save you, father. <laughs> Never did I to deserve this baby. <laughs> He's a, I am not a stripper. I am Rogel Dorn. <laughs> I love Rogel Dorn so much. You know what to do. It is for the good of all the Imperium. Okay. Look. I've got those losers. Sorry to interrupt the start. Oh. Ha <laughs> yes! Good job, dear companion! You know what he just did, people? 
he just killed the High Lords of Terra. Yeah, that's definitely not gonna cause problems. That, that's, yeah, definitely not gonna cause problems. <laughs> and being really old no more. The Adeptus Arbitis, the Astra Militarum, the Adeptus Mechanicus, and the Ecclesia! <laughs> Wait a moment. Where's Pope Shaftat the 23rd? Shaftat the 23rd. Oh, by my manly manperer! <laughs> oh, Lord General! Manly manperer? Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he's now the man emperor of mankind. I know, but manperer. <laughs> 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 yes, by doing this, we have gotten one step closer to saving the Imperium from the incompetent. Emperor is bulging by such a fucking demon! Yes, I have been here this entire time. You will not get away with this. I will inform the Emperor, and when I do, you will face the ultimate judgment by a billion fiery hot pots and. Fiery hot pots? Is anybody out there? The ripcage, the liver, and my lasagna are all. <laughs> yes, it's lasagna. Feels like just this morning, or there is all manner of ruckus going on outside of this closet, and I don't like it. Reminds me of my time in Kingdom, when I was summoned to lock up the settlement by my squad friends. I just spent more time in lock me like a five pack bag. That's concerning. They were in there. Who or what are these corpses sitting at the table? Oh, Xenos. Those are lacrimals. They have the ability to shapeshift, changing their appearance at will. I actually know nothing about the lacrimals. Uh, I don't either. But yeah. Uh, is that still the. Ab Wait, why is that one not transforming? In that case, I have thoroughly misjudged you. I'm sorry for my previous brash pronouncement. I must learn to be more open-minded and not make hasty conclusions, as the Emperor intends. That's actually sweet. You. you are true heroes of the Imperium. Yes, thanks to you, we can now make up more dumb rules and shit ourselves undisturbed once again. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, actually, uh, could you not do that? Uh, what? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what are we supposed to do? Well, could you, uh, like, make rules that benefit mm -hmm. the Imperium and its people instead? Huh. I've never really thought of it that way before. Wait! <laughs> so, things can benefit other people? <laughs> I'm confused. No. My guardsmen could actually use some benefits now and again, I suppose. <laughs> oh, God. They're all serving outfit. Dying, drunk, <laughs> fighting. Oh, okay. I am totally going to Mars after this. <laughs> Serve oil margaritas. <laughs> Come, companion. You've made them start trying to comprehend things. Comprehend out things. Of the last radius where they still haven't exploded into a shower of cerebrum and fecal matter. Oh, sure. Oh my god. Let us go. What? What now? Hey, uh... I like it better in the closet. I just want to say that I have ways of this day for millennia. Oh boy. I get to hold the most prestigious honor of being your caretaker. I am going to make it like a hooker and say, let us get this over with as quickly as possible. Oh my god. And I want to wallow myself with you some more. Before we go through Jesus the Christ. the grooming, the manicure, and the special skeleton massage, please allow me to ask, what okay. do you and little kitten usually do to pass the time? Oh, After boy. All, anything he can do, I can do better. And now, I am able to prove it. We usually oh boy. play a game of get the fuck out unless you have clothes on. You <laughs> must be terrible at that game, father. Shut the fuck up, Rogel. God damn it. <laughs> into which you can insert your data, my glorious overlord. My wish is your desire. I can fulfill whatever order Kitten would have. So please, well, give here me we a go. chance. Fucking fine. Oh, you are fine indeed. What we usually oh my do God. is that I bring up a topic concerning the Imperium. 
or the galaxy at large, and then Sun Cat tells me about its own knowledge of the current state of affairs in the 41st millennium expands further. In preparation for my return. Oh, okay. Your return? I completely understand. So, what is it you would like to know about, my glorious overlord? Tell me about the space wolves. Oh, here we go. Who the fuck are space wolves? Wait, what? Oh, oh yes, yes, the space wolves, of course. Why, they are a legion oh, of the Starkies, oh, the Lord. Primark known as Lemon Russ, of course. Lemon Russ. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, you fucking idiot. Tell me what they are up to in this current time period. For instance, where is Lee Man Russ? Lemon. Uh, I assume... He is with his space wolves doing things that space wolves do. Strike one. Has their mm. chapter culture radically changed? I am fairly certain they still like wolves. <laughs> Strike two. Have their physiology oh. been altered in any way go. so they look like pugs or some shit nowadays? <laughs> well, they have always been very brutish and unshaven, but that could also be points in their favor depending on the mood. Oh my Strike god. Three. Did they follow Gilliman's decree about splitting the Legion into chapters? I'm nope. Sorry, what's yes and that no, but mostly no. Are fucking out. Mostly no. The Space Wolves kind of just do their own thing have, and have mostly remained a legion. For the sake of all fucks in the space. Yeah, it's funny because on paper they're like, yes, useful. we are going to pretend that we the split our legion, but in truth we're all still the same people. So they're still all... Go do stuff. Yeah, they're still yeah. mostly <laughs> based in Fenris and... He's incredibly oh. unknowledgeable, father. Thanks, Rogel. I <laughs> just that. Please, my glorious overlord. I can still do this. I thought you said you could do better than my regular companion. But thus far, you have been nothing more than an utter disappointment. Uh, disappointment? No. Yes. D-I-I-I-S-A-A-A-P-C-O-Y-N-T-M-E-A-E-E-E-N-T. I... I'm sorry. I just... There's just something gone awry with my brain right now. Right now is not how you say the word constantly. <laughs> I promise I can do that. Just let me go outside for a quick second. Well, that was oh. absolute garbage. Instead of saving the Imperium, we accidentally set it back by another millennia or so. I mean, you sure. did a bit better. I think I may have actually gotten through to them. Shut your bleach blonde mouth, companion. Bleach blonde. We failed and that is that. But do not fret, for my erudite <laughs> mind has already hatched another brilliant plan that will surely help us in our quest to redeem mankind. And that is... Ironically, the only reason I came up with this plan in the first place is because Father spoke perhaps a bit too much about it in private conversation. Oh. Well? So... What is it? We... are going to Nocturne... to... borrow one of Vulcan's most powerful artifacts. The engine of woes. The engine of woes. Uh, what do you think of this plan, Fable? <sighs> I don't know what he's up to. It just sounds like it's gonna backfire. <laughs> yes, I don't honestly, know about it does. Legends, but its powers are always shrouded in mystery. What powers does it possess? Uh. Tell me everything you know of the space wolves within ten minutes. Or I will slowly peel your armor off. Please don't go again! <laughs> Not again. <laughs> I have returned, my glorious overlord. And now I am ready to fulfill this lust for knowledge about the bulk of Henrika that you have been coveting. Fine. This okay. is your last chance. Tell me the tale of the space wolves. Macabre man, Dubai. First off, <laughs> man, your Dubai. delicious wolves and lemon rustle, lemon, lemon, that is true. Seemed to be the end of him then. For what purpose would one ever, ever, ever going to supreme death hell to do anything? <laughs> unless you are an ultramarine or something. He's a mm. man's man. Hard to handle. Knows what he wants and goes roughly to get it. Oh my In god. There are several theories about just what made him desire to venture into that gigantic galactic axe wound. Is one of them that he found a meaty bone? <laughs> and he wanted a perfect place to put it. Oh, I'm sure he had all the meaty bones he wanted ready and available back home on Fenris. Oh my Stop god. Home, but the first theory is that he went into the Eye of Terror to find and once and for all defeat the one known as Magnus the Red. From a quite reliable source, I can say that, and I quote, The first 
I will have to have a <laughs> with Maggie Magic later, it seems. But do tell, yeah. what were the other theories? He'll of course he said that. Even Russ wanted to find his long-lost brother, Lionel Johnson, Primarch of the Dark Angels. That makes no... Norris's chances of finding the lion in the warp are 0. 0.000. We know where the lion is. We knew where he was yeah. before this. Yeah, the thing is, a lot of it seems like after the war, like after the Harris, the Horus Heresy, a lot of the Primarchs decided to do stupid stuff. A lot of them either were pissed off and started wars and eventually got too injured to fight, or disappeared. Yeah, and according to what a lot of the fandom says, because since the Horus Heresy books have finally finished, we're finally gonna start to get some more information about what the Primarchs may or may have not done. So. It's probably going to take like another 50 years for that to come out with the rate they're going with our book. So, yeah. 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 Percent. Do you know of Lion's location then? It seems like said chin wagging will involve you as well, little roguely don don. I <laughs> fail to see how wagging one's <laughs> chin will help in any way. Please do carry on with your double on thunder ridden dialogue, creepster. Oh. <laughs> creepster. <laughs> 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 One that dearly warms the cockles of my heart. Stop is that. that. journey into the Eye of Terror to seek out the mythical tree of life. It is a tree of immense power and girth. Said to hold fruits that could heal you of all the injuries and ailments you have suffered since your ascension. Allowing you to once more return. Does he really think eating some fucking banana <laughs> will make me all better again? I personally think it is a lemon. <laughs> a lemon is a mighty fruit. My favorite. <laughs> oh my god, Rogel. Stop radiating uncomfortableness, you eldritch abomination, and continue speaking. You uh, eldritch abomination. The is culture yeah. is very wolfy, one would say. Ever since yeah. Lehman Russ yes, was raised by wolves <laughs> as an infant, it has remained... He was, <laughs> he was raised by wolves and still had his wolf siblings with him even when he was taken to human nature. culture. When an right. initiate of the Space Wolves has gone through their basic training, not only are they stuck in power armor immediately as to join the pack, but they must drink from the cup of wolf as a part of an initiation ritual. If they are unworthy of ascending into the ranks of the Space Wolves, the liquids that fill the cup will instead turn the initiates into literal Space Wolves. Yes, yeah, so it turns and... them into giant werewolf oh. spacemen. Well then, yeah, that's literally... not good. Yes, yeah, so it literally turns them into giant wolves. They will turn into man-wolf hybrids called wolf -hybrids. Yeah. It's incredibly convenient. <laughs> How did you hear that? <laughs> incredibly convenient for their image. Which, Pretty much. They did not turn into fucking shrimpmen or something instead. Also, what a beautiful fucking way to waste away initiates for a PR stunt. It <laughs> should be noted that Wolf King Russ all but entirely refused the Codex Astartes. Pretty much, yeah. Thus, the Space Wolves are not your normal chapter. Bloated to the brim with hefty, hairy wolf enthusiasts. The mm. current wolf lord of the Space Wolves is Logan Grimnar, also known as the Old Wolf. I like he Logan Grimnar. All of the great wolf, together with his wolf lords, such oh, as cool. Death Wolf, Eagle, Iron And yes, they do ride giant wolves into battle sometimes and have giant thunder lightning claws that are shaped like wolf claws. Mm. Mm -hmm. And Storm Wolf. Cool. Under the command of troops such as the Wolf Guard, the Wolf Scouts, and the Mystical Wolf Priests. Hello, friend Barnabas Prime. All I got out of that was wolf, 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 wolf. That is essentially yes in the lore how a lot of the Space Wolf chapters are. Yeah, it's a very... What do you think about the Space Wolves so far, Chrono? I think they're kind of cool, although kind of fucked up. <laughs> they're pretty nice. They're pretty nice guys, all things considered. Yeah, yeah, actually, compared to their 40k... Uh, sorry, compared to their 30k versions, they've actually kind of let up on a lot of their uh, more stubborn tendencies, because... Uh, okay. um, People really didn't like the 30k version, but in 40k, they've actually kind of lightened up and they're actually more tolerable. And people really enjoy the fact that 
that they realize their mistakes and are trying to do better for it. Oh, what, okay. What most of 4K is. Isn't kind of cool, but kind of a giant mess what most of 4K is? Yeah, pretty much. Wolf, 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 and wolf. The space wolves are incredibly <clears throat> uninspired. I could <clears throat> not have put it more bluntly and unembellished myself. I assume they cannot help it. Mm. Their animalistic simplicity must limit their creativity. But one should not be fooled, for the wolves of Fenris are smarter than they seem. That they is act true. Like drunkards and braggarts as a layer of woven incompetence to cover up their ferocious prowess for when they're. You don't want to underestimate them in a fight. Just like I, knew them with my I can. Oh my god. Get that. That the... Yeah. It's the crouching tiger hidden dragon sort Best of thing. should take excuse for drinking yeah. shameful amounts of Astartes pattern alcohol I have ever heard. The okay. battle damage suffered by an Imperial Armada in the span of a year does not appear that serious when compared to the suffering of a Space Wolf liver. What they also have is an otherworldly connection to their home planet like none other. Apparently, they can sense the nature surrounding them, becoming as one with it. The planet even goes as far as to grant some of its inhabitants special powers, making them able to channel nope. psychic energies from animalistic spirits dwelling on Fenris. The Space Wolves are quickly uncovered to be shitmasters supreme <laughs> because those are still not friendly wolf spirits of Fenris like they have been insisting for 10 millennia. Those are fucking demons. Oh, I... Demons. They probably aren't. They are. Specifically the horrid spawns of Slaanesh. Oh, God. nasty, debased, and entirely inappropriate. <laughs> I am not even going to humor that. You are way too easy of a target. So many people use the word easy when describing me. Stop it! And I'm not even sure what that is supposed to mean. You can't stop holding up yeah. that make fun of me sign now and finish this. <laughs> Naturally. The final thing that should be noted about the Space Wolves is their most remarkable feature. They seem to have evolved. For the last better mean? word. In the past, they were not but vile savages and ruthless executioners. Yeah. But now they serve as a wolf uh, I think what y'all were talking about before. Yeah. yeah. The they originally referred okay. to as the uh, the executioner's sons. Evolved like a Pokemon. Not uh, quite. Many quite quick. Uh, Leon Rust is known as the, the Emperor's executioner. Along with his wolf guard, but yeah. Has reared its ugly head, oh, okay. Saving countless human lives as a result. Even when who they fought threatened not only their existence, but their very loyalty to the Imperium. So my totally original final thesis would be yeah. that the wolves are what the Imperium needs them to be at any uh, given time. Be it cold-blooded murderers or noble heroes. What happened once with the Space Wolves is they were fighting uh, with... The Inquisition, and at one point they was like, "Yeah, you did a good job killing all those demons, but we want to kill the rest of the people on this planet too, just in case their chaos corrupted." And the Space Wolves were like, "What? No!" And they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna try to do it anyway." So what the Space Wolves did is evacuate as many people as possible. Which then the Inquisition went, "What? What? You evacuated those people? I can't believe you! We're going to destroy those transports." And they said, "No!" and started having a fight with them. Oh my god. Yeah, it's, it's called the Months of Shame because apparently... No, okay, so <laughs> they... the lore is really stupid because apparently... And I, I really don't understand this, nor do I know if the writer actually had an idea what the hell they were doing. But some random Inquisitor who had no actual authority took over and started and started destroying planets and everyone's just like wait how did he get control and they're like I, I don't know he just did it's just like you guys are stupid you guys are incredibly stupid yeah that's uh, random acquisitors doing things like this isn't the most out of left field thing is the problem but yeah they yeah. battle they eventually would go blows with the gray knights for this and beat them back so now they're labeled as renegades they're loyal to the imperium but they get no real support Perhaps from we should the from the Inquisition. Name them the Space Corgis. To Which is fine. They don't need it. Determination <laughs> when all is stacked against them. Corgis are funny. They have small legs. <laughs> Very well then. I presume we have wolfed it up enough. Yes, my glorious overlord. All right. Mm. Here is my mental list of things that desperately requires fixing. Number one. Make haste equal to the Council of Nikia for the purpose of banning interaction with demons role-playing as friendly woodland critters. Number okay. two, have them stop stuffing their defective gene seed into acolytes, if there even is a slight chance of them turning free and fucking off. 
It is a massive waste of precious gene seed, which is both incredibly important for the survival of an Astartes legion. It's not wrong. Phenomenally limited in supply. Number three. Have Logan Grimnar deliver presents to all children <laughs> of the Imperium months on Vanilla. And lastly, number four. They can become Santa Exchange Claus. all named instances of Wolf with Corky. Wolf priests could be called Kodogamancers. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Other than that, I have to say. You have admittedly been evaded informing me about the wolves, BDS, and banana number one. <laughs> you definitely had my doubts, but now, thanks to you, I now have many more wolves in my wolves. Many uh, more wolves in uh, my wolves. Chrono, inside you are two wolves. wolves. I am honored beyond belief. Uh, I will make sure to serve you even more fervently and gain more of your favor from this moment on. For that is my eternal duty as one of your custodians. Sure, I suppose. <laughs> Just do not torture Goldie Guy so harshly next time. So now, it is time for your sponge bath. <laughs> Wait, just a moment. Oh, uh. what is it you wish of me? Before you nothing short of molest me, <laughs> I have a mission for you. I require you to send out a message to the Ultramarines. Oh. I have a new mission for them. My, my, my. What is this mission you wish to be graciously provided to the blueberries? This may just be their toughest challenge yet, so I hope for their sake that their ridiculous disconnect kill him, man. <laughs> that's what you I mean. know where he's going. Yeah, has not been depleted as of yet. Tell them to enter the webway and outdance the best Harlequin dancers in the galaxy. <laughs> I, I thought they were, I thought he already Anders. said that to them before. <laughs> well, I guess that's in order now, apparently. Anyway. Oh, boy. Oh, look who it is. It's the rock. Yes. No, it's not the so, rock. Oh, yeah. the rock. they have finally arrived. It is time for me to leave this planet to its ostentatious destiny. And at long last, I get to eat something that isn't <laughs> fucking sad. <laughs> oh, I am but... so mysterious. <laughs> For those who don't know, Astartes can pretty much eat anything. Pretty much. Oh, real quick, you want to know something Mist funny? Um... When the Emperor was looking for his sons, when he met Lehman Rust, he disguised himself as a whirly old man and challenged Lehman to a bunch of contests. One of them was a drinking contest. The Emperor said, if I win, you will join me, you will follow me and do everything I say. Lehman accepted the challenge, out drank the Emperor, and laughed in his face. The Emperor mm. proceeded to punch him in the face, knock him out, and then proceed to drag him to his ship. Pretty much. That he is called, how he recruited Lehman. He basically called him a drunker, then punched him out, then put him on the ship, yeah. Yeah, that's how he recruited his son. He punched him out and pretty much just kidnapped him, essentially. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah some yeah, of the I'm other saying. recruitments were actually a lot better. Some of them were This a was lot not worse. one of them. Yeah. Yeah, this was not one of the good ones. One of the worst ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Asriel, why did you kill those battle brothers? I did oh. <laughs> you told Asmodai to make them repent. Oh, you know that to his ears, make them repent is the same as saying murder them violently. Yes, Asmodai is a fucking asshole who cannot make <laughs> anyone repent. Did someone just say murder anyone violently? <laughs> <laughs> My lord. <laughs> yes, for those who don't know, Asmodon is head to- oh. What was that, Chrono? Oh! Oh! Let's go. But, my lord! Pretty much. I just like turned at any I... moment for that. Kind of knowledge. But they were initiated in the inner circle last week. We were just going to inform them about our super shameful history so they could fill out their cloaks properly. Hold your tongue for one bleeding moment, Belial. Also, yes, all of the. All of the Dark Angels do have these giant cloaks on them. Hold my tongue. It'll get all covered in dust. Shut it. <laughs> Mechanicus are coming right this way. Do I start is Dark Angels? What brings you to this planet? That is none of your business, Drillman. 
I drill man. You tell me what you were doing upon this planet immediately. Oh, hard Damping grass does not answer to root flesh bags. Well, maybe as is the man who made smashes across his back, you clean on my feet. Oh my god. Oh. It does not. You better be quick. Asmodai is incredibly disobedient. <laughs> incredibly Very disobedient. Twitchy with his mace hand. He can't even drink recaf without causing <laughs> terrible accidents. Oh my god. This was that meetings. Leave immediately. This planet is declined sacred. Oh. Yeah, they do this all the time. I'm sorry. My brothers are a bit jumpy. See, we were kind of led to this planet in order to find uh, something or someone. And we really need to know what you Mechanicum chaps are up to in order to further our investigation. Could you please tell? Pretty please? <laughs> you speak in a tongue pleasant uh. but being articulated by beefy bits. Articulated by beefy we are here because we have received a report of this planet containing ancient technology. Ooh. What we have found surpassed anything we could have ever hoped for. So now, we are here to save King the planet and restore the atomistic structures we have discovered upon it. It is one of the greatest findings in the mechanics. Yeah, they do this kind of all the time. They find whatever tech ancient tech they can, try to repair it as best as possible, or try to find out what the hell it did. I do not believe a word of this! You are working with the fuller! <laughs> you have a hidden agenda! Only filthy traitors have hidden agendas, and secret <laughs> circles and ominous hoods like you creeps do! I will activate my spam filter if you do not see it. <laughs> no! He's your tantrum. Angels, I demand that I may speak to your leader! The fabricator general is currently located on Mars for once. Serving oil margaritas. Yes, he's serving if oil margaritas. You speak to him, you'll have to travel there. Fine! We shall do just that. We will return, mark my words. You are up to something, and I'm going to figure out exactly what. Come! Mm. We are going to Mars as fast oh as economically possible. We shall leave the rock and the rest of the fleet here to watch over this planet from orbit. No one shall enter or leave. That sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah, it does. I'm gonna get motion sick again. Shut your face, Belial! <laughs> Shut your face. <laughs> so. Oh! You guys got chips or something. Oh, Storm. look. <laughs> oh, my job. You could find some inside the mini bar in the pole dance quarter. Um, pole dance? Marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, I they remember just this. Ignored Cypher. Yes, they did. They don't even realize it's Cypher there with them. But uh funny enough, uh the reason why they made a reference to a pole dance is because there is actually a homosexual nightclub that is named The Rock. Oh my goodness, And I believe uh not Lionel Johnson, but Lionel Johnson was a poet that might have been gay. We're not sure. Anyway, I hope you guys had fun. The Dark Angels can be... I don't understand what Chrono is seeing. Yeah, I don't know what he's saying. Anyway, thank you all so much. If you like our stuff, consider the Patreon. Consider checking these two out. They should be in the description. And yeah... I'll see you guys a bit later.